Okay, Robin here with one of my recent lessons. Uh, I think this is a this is a good lesson for anybody who consistently struggles with push shots. You find it, you feel like you struggle to release the club head, and um, but mainly players who are struggling to create club head speed. Um, you feel like you put a lot of effort into the swing, and um, but you don't get much out. You feel like uh, maybe your your body type and your athleticism. You should be somebody who creates a fair amount of club head speed, but you don't. This might be a good lesson for you. Now, I think most players realize some of the, or understand some of the components which have a, an effect on club head speed. Maybe pressure transfer between right and left foot, uh, rotational, rotational speeds of your body, the hinging and unhinging of the wrists, the kind of leverage you create in your wrists. And yes, those are all important components of how much creed. Sorry, how much speed you create. What, what many players don't realize is that there's also a vertical component too. There's a vertical force in the golf swing which will greatly affect how much club head speed you can create. This player is a great example of this. Um, she, yeah, she's a good player. Um, obviously somebody shooting in around even par, um, but struggles to create club head speed. Definitely uh, doesn't hit the ball far enough at this stage uh, to sort of compete on a higher level. Now, I won't go into, into huge detail here, um, focusing on the kind of one area we worked on and the effects that had. But if, we, if I take you to impact, you can see how her lower body, a simple way to look at that was how her, almost her knees look collapsed. They look too much down. They look too close to the ground. Uh, her you know, right knees kind of rolling in towards the target, left leg still looks bent, left hip doesn't really look high enough. It's telling me she's not hasn't really got that vertical component in her swing, that vertical force which is the, affecting her club head speed. So an, another thing, we've got a little bit more complicated, but because she doesn't have this vertical force, it, her hips don't stabilize, which doesn't allow her to release the club, so she struggles with push shots to the to the right as well for the same for the same reason right very simple we just simply did some drills here uh, one leg only this is the left leg only where she put her right foot behind her left up on its toe tried to make a backswing as close to normal as possible but then simply learned to push up from her left foot use the ground use that force to push up she feels excuse me like she's jumping. Now, maybe you, you might not believe me, but with uh, we tested this with TrackMan, and from this one foot only swing, she was actually creating more club head speed than her normal two footed swing on the left. She was hitting the ball further here on the right than her normal swing, which instantly tells us that she didn't have this uh, vertical force in her swing. That's a good way for you to test are, are you using the ground uh, to the most? Uh, in the most effective way. Give it a try. Maybe not the first ball, but with uh, within 10 balls, if you don't have this component, you will be at least hitting the ball the same distance from this drill as you will when you're normal swing, if you don't have this uh, force in your swing. Now, skip forward, and this is really only a, a few weeks later. You can see now at impact, there's a little bit more thrust. Certainly her knees don't look as collapsed. She's working up away from the ground, and this she on these swings her club head speed on average was eight miles an hour faster. So that's that's a huge difference actually. It's almost ten percent. So she went from somebody's distance was a little bit below average to someone's distance which was a little bit above average. Actually, her swing speed in the right here was above LPGA average, and I was really only thinking that one thing that left foot drill and then repeat the same feeling uh, during the shot. Now, let me show you why that will also have a little bit of an effect on uh, direction. So, before in the right, right knee sort of collapses, everything collapses, so actually her, her right knee gets on the ball too early, but here you'll see she's pushing up, so this stabilizes her hips. This one, her hips spins back more. So her hips don't stabilize 
her hips don't slow down so she can transfer the speed into the club fed yes affecting distance but also affecting the release of the club this one the club releases more freely so it helps the club face square up instead of very commonly for her she would the club face would be left open at impact the ball would start to the right so simple but very effective lesson and I think there's definitely a lot of golfers out there can can benefit from from some of this in their game I say simply trying that left foot only drill you'll soon work out whether you're whether you're using the ground correctly if not give this a try just showing your swing here at full speed she went from sort of uh, yeah looks a little slow motion looks almost a little slappy shall I use, use the word we're here now you can see the Definitely a bit more life in the club head through the ball from using the ground. By the way, just uh, I don't want to blow the trumpet too much, but uh, yeah, just why I'm showing this. She went uh, from shooting evens, one overs to uh, then her, in her most recent tournament, she just shot uh, 66 final rounds. So hitting the ball for her further in the ladies' game really makes the game a lot easier. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope that some people out there get. Uh, Get some benefit from that and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.